Hello everyone, welcome back to Hillbro. It has been a long time since our last upload, and I've missed it a lot. I have actually deeply missed it. But a lot has happened since. A pandemic has happened, a lot of uh, economic things have happened, worldly events have happened. That's no different than us and our families and our work. We hope to catch up with everyone uh, as we start up our videos again, exploring this beautiful state of Southeast Idaho and neighboring states. And by the way, look at this. It is a beautiful day. And just yesterday, it was actually snowing, raining, blowing. It was pure sleet. It was nasty yesterday. So today is actually a very good day for 2024. Not just because of the weather, which is stunning. But it's April 1st, which means opening day for the St. Anthony Sandings. You can see the butte back there. There's still snow on top of that butte. And around the butte is where the St. Anthony Sandings are. And today we are going to go explore the dunes, see what last winter has brought us, and maybe find some cool things out there, talk about why they closed the dunes, and uh, have a little adventure today. Kind of reboot the year off as well as Hillboro. Dad has come up in his Logan coach and he's brought his uh, stock double X. Of course, you guys, obviously, we love the double Xs, as if you've previously followed us would know. Um, I myself have a stock double X now. Dad's in the background on the phone, but that's my stock double X. That thing's been a lot of fun for the family. Got the young boys with us, Riker and Zeke. Hopefully get them ready for their year's riding and uh, filming. You guys excited? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We still have the mutant cat. There's a glimpse of it, maybe a little sneak peek of what's going on. Yeah, that's not stock. Obviously not, not stock, but it's uh, going through more transformations. But enough of the talk, you guys. Let's go riding. Let's go explore the dunes and see what the new year has brought us. We made it out to the Egan Lake parking lot. A uh, little less snow and moisture than I expected considering all the snow and rain we got yesterday. Uh, a lot more people than I expected also, but I don't know why I didn't expect it because it is a great day. There's a group of sport four-wheelers, old uh, relic four-wheelers, group of guys that come out here a lot. I suspect that's who they are. Let's get these things unloaded and have a good day. Getting yourself ready? Make sure you're in there good and tight, Ziggy. It's still a bit chilly out. Gotta dress warm. So this is one of those things you don't normally see throughout the rest of the year. Uh, when you see a dark brown crust on the top of a dune, my kids call it uh, marshmallow brownies. 
it means there's snow underneath it. So what normally happens is in Southeast Idaho, the wind will blow from the Southwest, which is that direction, or coming from that direction going this way. And the snow in the winter time will build and drift right here and uh, just make big old piles that uh, doesn't melt as fast as the rest of the snow on the dunes. And so you'll get a little pile of drift on the north faces of the dunes. And uh, before it melts, the wind will kick back up and blow the sand over the snow. And so you get this kind of like uh, Oreo internal marshmallow look inside the chocolate brown part of the dunes. It's kind of cool. So we've been trying to drive around the sand dunes. This is kind of the northwest part of the dunes, right next to the big butte right behind me. Uh, we just went up the staircase. Anyways, we're trying to find signs of elk migration and we're actually not seeing any, but a lot of the times, if you come here early in the season or if we have a late winter, down in the valleys of the dunes at the base, you'll see a lot of tracks, a lot of uh, remnants of elk that have migrated through the sand dunes and nestle themselves down at the base of the dunes to protect them from the cold winds that come from the southwest and actually a lot of times the wind will come from the north and if we have a lot of north wind in the winter time then actually these dunes well you can kind of see it right see this is actually the south side of the dune which is normally the smooth side where all the steep one all the steep sides are always to the northeast well, this one's kind of to the southwest it's because we've been getting a lot of north wind and it makes steep sides on the back sides of these dunes but a lot of times what will happen is uh it'll create steep sides at the peaks and so people who are used to riding the dunes a normal time like middle of summer and they come here early they'll they'll come zipping up the steep sides the normal steep sides knowing that it usually pot toes out and it's really gradual on the south sides where they'll just come right up and there's a ledge and it's like just a drop off a four foot drop off that'll surprise you it's because of all the north wind that happens i don't see a ton of that though i do see a lot of choppy you can see how choppy the tops of these dunes are That's what's fun about these little drones is you can rig them. These props probably cost about three bucks. And then it's up back and running. Found a cool knife right here. Steady, Zeke. Mm -hmm. Hold your hands out. Let's see.
Well, we made it back to the parking lot. Pretty good day today. We didn't see a ton of evidence of the elk that migrate through. Saw a couple droppings, a couple tracks, but nothing huge like what they migrate in. They, they migrate in huge herds. Machines ran pretty good. They're definitely not the speed demons for the sand dunes, but they're fun. They're fun machines to ride in. And the boys did pretty good. Found a couple jumps. Film some dirt bikers jumping. As you can see, the dunes are a little bit different at the beginning of the year versus midsummer or at the end of the season. A um, couple things you got to look out for. You know, a lot of times you think you can just rail from dune to dune, on, at least on the big dunes. But in the early season, there's a lot of wet uh, little witch's eyes and a lot of bumps and stuff that could really mess someone up if you're not careful. It's kind of cool how the snow gets covered by the sand. You can actually dig into a dune and get some snow. And there's always something new to find. I found a knife. Now, the dunes are just fun. Same as the desert. When it opens up in a month, we're going to go out there, play. It'll be cool. I have more sand in my toes than I did in my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Dumped in pounds. He dumped, Gallons or he, something. He dumped choke cherry out of his shoe. We got to... Tip you guys upside down, shake you out. No. Yeah. Pockets and all. Ears. Oh yeah. Bum cracks. 